Hey there everyone, it is Mr. Stubstep and today I'm going to be opening up some pretty old tins. I think I've seen these before in the stores and if I remember correctly, they were not very good. Let's see, where is the date? Yeah, 2020. So these, what, almost two years old now, so that's pretty crazy. But before I get into these, I will be showing off some of my pickups. Today I went to three Targets and two Walmarts. The first two Targets and Walmarts that I went to, because a bunch of our places that have a Target and Walmart right next to each other, had absolutely nothing, like zero, zero. Except for one of them did have one of these binders, and because I am now trying to collect the Vivid Voltage Master Set, I got another one of these. These run for $25, so $5 more than the normal Ultra Pros, I guess because of the special you know, 25th anniversary design. They can upcharge under five bucks. Do I think it's worth an extra five dollars? Probably not, but these are easily accessible, and I go online and try to find those same binders and they're usually like ridiculously priced, even though they're not like super, super nice binders, but they're just good enough for me. Um, but the final target that I went to, the third target, um, I'll actually show a photo now. They had a bunch of the Glaceon boxes, the Leafeon boxes. Oh, uh, they had sleeve boosters, those evolution pack ones, and then they might've had some three packs as well. And then they had the Hoopa Dragonite boxes. They had the Pokeball tins, which is awesome. They had these pink tins that I'm showing you guys. I think these were the first Sword and Shield tins, if I remember correctly. And yeah, they just had an awesome selection. Let me know what you would have gotten. Oh, and they had some celebration stuff like the chest and then the, the um, play mat collection, the Pikachu. I was tempted to get a chest, but since I already have celebrations complete, I didn't feel compelled to. And you know, somebody else will be able to grab those. So got these, I think these were $7.99 or $8.99 a piece. I think $8.99 a piece. Uh, got two of the Pokeballs. So a quick ball and then a luxury ball. So I think my Wednesday opening will have these being opened as well as these two Battle Styles packs. I've had a lot of luck with just random packs lately. So figured I haven't opened up Battle Styles in a while. So I'll get two Battle Styles. And then that's actually all I picked up as far as pickups go. And then in the mail, I actually got some awesome cards from Japan. So we'll go through these pretty quick. These are all just extras that came with Curlia cards that I wanted. So we got Mareep, got uh, Flaffy, Another artwork of Flaffy. And then this Ampharos Prime, which is really cool. I'm not sure if this is worth anything. It is like a rare card. Like it's not like a promo or from a theme deck or anything. So if this has a significant price, let you know. And it's not in like terrible condition either. We have the Ralts, another Ralts. And then we have this Curly. I already have this Curly in my collection, but it came with another Curly. And this is the one that I actually needed. Um, this is like the Pop Series artwork on in English. And I needed the Unlimited version, which there's no first edition symbol there. And then we had another order that came with a Gardevoir Hollow, a Ralts, a Curlia that I already have. This is a EX Ruby and Sapphire one. And then the Shining Darkness Curlia, or this one is from uh, Secret Wonders. I needed the first edition and I got the first edition on this one. So getting really close on completing the English and Japanese of every single Curlia card. And then I think I have one or two more cameos left for a Curlia in general on the English and Japanese side. So maybe I'll be doing one of those videos soon, but yeah. That's actually all I have for pickups, so I will open these up. I have a feeling these aren't going to be very good. They have two packs and a coin and then some artwork on the inside. But let's get these open and see what we got. So before I open up all of them, we have the Toxtricity here. There's the back one more time. And it actually comes with fire packs. I'm not sure if these are random every time, but Rebel Clash and Cosmic Eclipse. I know Brilliant Stars is coming out. It's kind of like the second run of the Cosmic Eclipse X-esque set with those character rares coming in the reverse slot. And you get the artwork with some Toxtricity um, statistics, height 5'3", weight 88 pounds. And then there's just that plain artwork, as well as a Suicune coin. Now let me open up the other two. All right, so now they are all open. And the main reason I got these is because I was with Mystery, and she actually wanted the Galarian Rapidash, so I figured I would get that one. So yeah, very nice. I'll probably, definitely gonna be saving this one, and then these two will be kind of up in the air what I end up doing with them. The other two came with Suicune coins too, so got three of them, no different design. Here is all the different artworks, which are very nice. I don't know if they make, they eventually make a puzzle. I'm not sure. Eh, eh, maybe. That one looks like, eh, maybe not. And then you have the statistics on all of them. Nine foot 10, 110 pounds, a ghost. Five, seven, 176 pounds. Wow, those stats are actually really close to mine. She, uh, Glaring Rapidash has about five pounds on me. So very interesting. All right, and we have an amazing pack selection here. I feel like Cosmic Eclipse is starting to show up in a lot more uh, things. So we have three Rebel Clash, three Cosmic Eclipse. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, this will be the order. Rebel Clash, Cosmic Eclipse, two Rebel Clash, and then two Cosmic Eclipse. 
so how have you guys been doing? I have been doing all right. I was actually really sad today because I thought I wasn't gonna be able to find anything for an opening and I was like, dang, should I just limit the amount of videos that I do this week or what should I do? Because I can't find anything. Um, I mean, I could start ordering stuff online, but then I have to order a lot of stuff like way out in advance because if you try to get stuff now, you're gonna be probably paying over MSRP, but yeah, I'm just glad I was able to find something. That is a reverse rare Galarian Darmanitan and a Hatterene Hollow. So starting out great with two back-to-back -back rares. Really like that Galarian Darman Darmanitan kind of coming out of a little cave. And then that Hatterene Hollow. Very beautiful. Mind Hat, once during your turn, you use this ability. Each player discards a hand card from their hand. Interesting. Cosmic Eclipse. So much hit potential. The pull rates in this are a little rough. I think Brilliant Stars is a lot better pull rate-wise. I have... I would say I pulled about half the character rares from the set and then I bought the rest because I love the collection so much. And they're they're frequent and common enough to where they're not too expensive. So, oh, it's so nice seeing some sun and moon or just seeing, you know, older style cards, even though they're not that old, but it's very nice seeing them. Oh, gotta love that feel. I mean, Cosmic Eclipse is such a fun set. It is a very large set, but it's such a fun set. Another reverse rare in Steelix and a Crabomitable. Solid shell, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage. Okay, that one's pretty self-explanatory yeah please tell me how you guys have been doing if you've been able to find any product have you even been searching if you just gave up for now you do everything online or you're just living vicariously through others on youtube and are, are just watching other people open stuff which i do that sometimes too a lot of vintage stuff i just watch people open vintage because i know i'll never be able to you know attain any of that vintage stuff because it's so expensive maybe like one pack down the line like something cheap like a jungle or fossil pack or something i don't know but I have complete sets of those, so I wouldn't even want to open that. I'd probably just end up keeping it sealed. Lampant, you are not a reverse rare. Is that a little Sableye in the background, or is that like a doll? I can't tell. And a Toxtricity VMAX. Very interesting and very nice. I personally love this artwork. Toxtricity is just very up in your face, and I love it. I wish I would have pulled the shiny one from Shining Fates. But this one works too, so we will not go hitless in this opening. I can't remember if I have this card in my collection already. Uh, centering definitely off, but overall the cut seems to look decent. And then the last Rebel Clash from this opening. Boss's Orders, maybe? I don't know. If Okay, my luck recently has been so crazy. I truly expect to just be dry in every single opening, and if I am, I am perfectly fine with that because my luck has been amazing. If you just go back to any of my videos from the past couple weeks and any title that has best in it, it is uh, it's quite the opening. It is quite the opening. And... I'm opening these Cosmic Eclipse packs now from these tins, and I'm pretty sure those Pokeballs have a Cosmic Eclipse in them too, So because they're the D21, unless they change those. So, opening a lot of Cosmic Eclipse this week, so if you like that set, look forward to it. And a Probo Pass. Wow, Gravitational Drop. This attack does 30 more damage for each retreat in your opponent's, or each star in your opponent's active retreat cost. Dang, the retreat on this Pokemon's four? Okay, then. And we have the ADP Cosmic Eclipse artwork. Would love the ADP alt art. There's just so many good cards in this set. Alt arts, tag team, um, the character rares. I actually haven't pulled a character in a while. A character rare in a while, so surprise. Like the Cynthia and Caitlyn. Very nice combination. Very nice combination. Oh, man. Hopefully you guys are able to find stuff like this in stores because... It was, I, I almost gave up on today. This is another reverse rare with victory heal. And during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from one of your bench Pokemon and a Fion. That Whirlpool suction. Oh, we are getting that Manaphy and Brilliant Stars, which should be somewhat helpful. I was still looking for that Jolteon VMAX box. I think it's time as might have passed for me, unless there's going to be like another random reprint of it down the line. But, uh, yeah, so might just end up getting those singles. That means I'll be missing out on the jumbo and the pin, which is a little unfortunate, but I guess I'll live. But we'll just go through these finishing cards. Hopefully, oh, love that Snorunt. I, would that technically be a Pikachu, uh, a Pikachu cameo? I don't know. Those Master Set collectors. I love favorite artist. One of my favorite artworks. This is just amazing. Just so simple. Just coughing, mossy forest. Oh, Litleo. We have the Golurk. Is that another reverse rare? We are on point with reverse rares. Dang, Golurk looking real creepy. I like it. And a Volcarona GX. Why does this look so weird in color? 
looks kind of faded, but I kind of like it though. It's so weird after looking at, I remember after looking at GXs for the longest time, I'm like, man, GXs are so boring and bland. I hate GXs. And then looking at Vs for the longest time, I'm like, man, Vs are so ugly. They're just so plain and black and whatever. And now I look at GXs, I'm like, wow, these actually look kind of sick. Is this a good one? Once during your turn, you may discard a fire energy from your hand if you do put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Huh. Backfire, but two fire energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand. Okay. And then discard an energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon. Massive Heat Wave GX for one fire energy. Interesting. I definitely don't have this card, so cool to add more ultra rares to the collection. So yeah, today's opening was pretty simple. Got to open some Rubble Clash and Cosmic Eclipse, which so is definitely different from what I normally open. Um, let me know if you're able to find these tins. I'm surprised these popped up again. I've seen these before, and I'm pretty sure, like, in the past, they had really bad pack selection, like Rubble Clash and Darkness Ablaze or something, whatever. And then I think the ones before these had, like, evolutions and stuff. But, yeah, that's all I have for this opening. On Wednesday's video, I should have a lot more talking points, and then tomorrow I should have a... I think it's either a TCG player video or an LGS video. I think it's... I think it might be a TCG player video, so... Look forward to that. And then Thursday, I'm thinking about doing a video where I kind of go over how I basically set up my master sets. And then we can kind of compare notes and see. I'm curious how you do your master sets and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.